Good evening. Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds of heavyweight action. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. they go the full 12 tonight. Butterbean's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Well, we're just underway here, and you can already sense the type of fight we're gonna have. These are two guys that have flat out said it. They have come to get the other man. And they're not liars. Work the body! Scores well to the head with the right hand. When you're going up against a heavy hitter, a big power puncher, what is the one thing that you can do that will get your results? You can frustrate the guy. Treat him like a bully. Treat him like a spoiled brat. When he doesn't get his way, he starts crying. Targeting that head with the combination punching. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Butterbean's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Areola's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. A well-targeted jab that time. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Oh, what a hook upstairs. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. We better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. A well-placed overhand right. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hagler Hurts. Yeah, you wonder if it's gonna live up to that. So far, so good. Returns on that exchange. Nice work doubling up that jab. Good right hand. He scores with the jab there. Butterbean's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Ariola is proving to be elusive. And that's classic work with the double jab. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. And that's the end of round one. Ariola's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Throw punches, okay? Don't walk into him without throwing a punch. Throw the body, then to the head, then finish to the body. Step, start of a new round coming off of a round in which he really took some punishment. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. 
And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Looking good. Butterbean's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Block. Ariola goes by the nickname of the Nightmare, and I think he likes to put forth that image to his fans, the Mexican-Americans in Southern California who have really come to appreciate this guy. But he's had his own nightmare in the course of the past year, was exposed by Vitaly Klitschko, and then was outboxed by a former light heavyweight and cruiserweight in Tomas Adama. Yeah, well, maybe part of the problem with nightmares, he wakes up in the middle of the night and goes to the refrigerator, because if he was in a little bit better shape, obviously he could be a little bit more productive. But to his credit, just being tough, just being a guy that throws punches and is physical, he has been able to get to a certain level in the heavyweight division. Defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Butterbean's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now I don't think his opponent likes the tone of it. Butterbean scoring with that right hand. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. And now a well-placed hook to the head. How will Chris Ariola deal with this and survive the rest? There it is! He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. Still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Well played, straight right hand. End of that round. Listen. And the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you, go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just nice kind of nice crawl work. up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. Ariola's hope is for him to be steady on his feet and just survive at this point. Remember, that last round, he was down and nearly out. Well, his hope is that his corner revived him during that minute rest. And also, they gave him good advice because the most important thing is don't let what happened the last round happen again. Correct what you did wrong. Blocks that punch. Jump on. Nice. Butterbean's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. Ariel was impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Solid. And he crashed to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? Fight is over. A knockout. Unable to beat the count of 10. For the official word, let's send it up to the ring.
and just like that, Butterbean's thunder rains down on him with a knockout victory. Well, one of Einstein's theories was E equals mass times speed. This was fist, hits chin, and out he goes. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside.